All right, so for the next section of this DVD, we're going to be looking at playing songs. And I said at the beginning of this DVD that I wanted more of a commercial approach. We have talked about some basic roles and bluegrass concepts, but most of the repertoire we're going to be looking at from here on out is pop songs. So we're going to start with this classic one. Here is uh, the first example from the song list. So this is in the style of Van Morrison's Brown Eyed Girl. And we're going to use the three chord shapes that we've learned so far, the G, the C, and the D7. Now let's break down that intro. To, uh, this is the guitar riff that we're playing here on banjo, and it comes out pretty cool. So what I'm doing is I'm playing this interval of a sixth. So I've got the 4th fret on the 3rd string, play that note with my 1st finger, and then I put my pinky on the 5th fret of the 1st string. So you get those two notes together. Now I'm going to do, remember our pinch technique where we play both of those notes at the same time. So I've got 4 and 5. And then I'm going to move up one fret. So my first finger is going to go from four to five. And now my pinky is going to go to the seventh fret. So if, if you notice, I have one fret between my fingers. So here there's no fret between my fingers. And now there's one fret. So it's sort of spread out. That's why I'm using my pinky. If that's hard for you, you can also use your third finger like this but I'm going to stick to my pinky. Okay, now I'm going to take this shape, 5 and 7, and move it up to 7 and 9. I'm just going to go up 2 frets, which is a, called a whole step. 2 frets is a whole step, and 1 fret is a half step. So here's the first 3. So I've just sort of climbed up, like walking up a ladder. And now I'm going to go back down those same notes. So here it is, ascending, descending. OK? All pinches with my right hand, I'm using thumb and middle finger. Now I'm going to do that same riff higher up on the neck. This part is going to begin on the 9th fret and 10th fret. So as you'll notice too, take a look at your banjo. Look at the frets down here, and then look at the frets up higher. What do you notice? Up higher, they get closer together. So as we play up the neck, which is more advanced, you know, the first few DVDs here, we're just staying in first position. Now we're moving up the neck. So we're gonna kinda compress what we're playing closer together so because if I do the same stretch that I do down here up high I'm gonna be like way overshooting I'm gonna have too many frets so here I just kinda squish it in so ninth fret tenth fret on those same strings and then I do the same thing so I'm gonna move up one fret and I'm gonna put one fret between my fingers here I am 10 and 12 you should be on the dots you got the two dots here now I'm going to move two frets higher, 12 and 14. So those three ascending, 